Hey guys, Tim here from Droid Life. Today I have the privilege of showing off the new user interface that Google released for the uh, Gmail for Android application. Last week they announced that there was going to be a new desktop and Android version, and we finally have it installed on this Samsung Galaxy S4 here. So we're going to go over it real quick, kind of see what's new, what's not new, etc., etc. Um, so we will open it up, and the first thing, of course, we will notice is that it hasn't changed too much. Um, it still has got your grays and your whites for unread and all that stuff, but basically the newest parts are these big letter boxes and also the left side navigation bar. Um, to access this left side navigation bar, you can click on the upper left hand corner right here and it also opens and closes, or you can do be all fancy and drag it out from the left um, and then also just slide it back in. From the, from the navigation bar, you can access the different accounts that are on your device. So say I have my work email, my personal, and then the fake one we use for the videos. You can um, access your priority inbox, which is the regular inbox. You can access your labels, and then all of your other labels that are down here. And basically, Gmail is kind of doing this new thing where it's kind of uh, uh, associating colors for your labels just kind of automatically, um, like I can show you. Say... Um, Say for these ones, it automatically marked them as Google, made it blue. So anything that's going to come from Google Play now is just going to have that Google label, which is fine by us. I mean, anything that kind of helps the organization of email is pretty much fine with me. Um, the other big part are these letter boxes. From what I can tell, they take whatever the first letter is of the, the name of the sender, and they um, throw it in this big letter box. And like you just saw, if you hit on the letter boxes, it selects it, and you can multi-select. And um, from there, you know, you can mark as red, trash them, throw them in the archive, or whatever you want. You can still swipe to delete things, no problem. You can undo it, all that fun stuff. Um, take a peek in the settings here, and uh, we will see that we are rocking version 4.5, yeah, which is the new version. And uh, beyond that, there isn't too much new. What I do like about these big letter boxes, though, is say say if we go in my um, sorry if we go into my personal, you can kind of see how they work a bit better because it shows more of like a who is all in the conversation. Say if I have um, me and someone else talking, it kind of shows theirs and mine. So if everyone had a picture, if they were associated like with my account, then it would kind of look better and they would it would be like a better conversation um, in terms of that. So, but yeah, as you can see, it just kind of, it looks like a crazy jumbled alphabet in your, uh, in your inbox now, which is interesting, but, uh, I don't know, maybe that'll change. If anyone knows why Google would want to do that, feel free to just let us know. Beyond that, there isn't too much new. Um, I tried to see, like, if you could kind of select multiple and then swipe away, but no, it's still just one, even two finger. No, that would be pretty sweet. So if they add that, that would be nice. Um, beyond that, there's not too much new. If you see anything else new that you want to, ch um, you know, let us know about, feel free to shoot it down in the comments section below, and uh, we'll see you on the site. Oh, and if you haven't, there are downloads available of this new APK on the site, and we will link that in this video. So have a good one. Talk to you later. Peace.